for the country board, we are working with watercolors. Okay, be ready with watercolors, masking tape, and 200 GSM paper or more. Paper has to be very good, good enough to hold water since we are using watercolor. So the first step, masking your sheet. For the watercolors, you must have masking tape. It will really be helpful if you use masking tape for the proper fine borders without any interruption of outline, going a color out of the line. Quickly paste masking tape. on all of the four sides. And place your paper in a landscape mode. Not portrait, landscape. Boat is a water transport. So we'll start our sketching by dividing the sheet into two parts, half for the sky and other half for the water. Here, leave some more space for the water. So draw a line above the center of your, above the center of your sheet, center line, draw, a, take a line at the top. So if this is the center of your sheet, Leave small space for the sky, very small space for the sky. It's enough if you leave five centimeter, six centimeter of space for the sky, can you scale, leave six centimeter gap and then draw a straight line. The sky above and the water below. So the water, you leave more space for detailing of water and boat. You need more space for the water, water body. And use H pencil or HP pencil, which is lighter in shade, not 6B, 4B, or more than that. Just HP or B pencils for sketching. Please make a light sketches. Apply light pressure while you sketch. Pressure has to be very light. Do not press into the sheet. Just a light pressure of sketches. The next step, let's draw an outline for the boat, okay? Are you all ready? Shall we start drawing a boat? Yes. Yes. So, 
about draw one word horizontal line first draw one horizontal line so first leave some space from the margin the outline okay leave some space and then draw a curve line a slight curvy line not very straight line just a slight curve line the base of the boat so this is the base of the boat now since the boat this is boat painting we are concentrating or we are, we are detailing out the boat that's why make it bigger a bigger boat at the top of the at the bottom of the sheet draw a curved line slightly curved line and raise the corners two corners you raise it with one horizontal line or diagonal line Okay, slightly raise the ends, both the ends. This is one side of the boat, the other side of the boat. Make a diagonal line, slanting line, whatever you call it as horizontal or it can be called as diagonal slanting. And then make it bigger. We are concentrating on boat. That's why the sketch of the boat has to be very big. Draw a big boat. Shall we proceed? Now, parallel to this curve, the bottom curve, draw one more parallel curve which joins this end and the, this end. These both ends. Look at the screen. From this end to this end, draw one more curve line parallel to this okay shall i start from this end i'll start now making a curve line and then parallel to this line i'll draw one more line and join it to the other end. U, in a U shape, wide U, not a narrow U shape, not alphabet U, but a curve U, wide curve. Any doubts or shall we proceed?
and then outlining the so this is one side of the bone the other side so you will have to see inside how a boat looks inside inside the boat how it looks there will be arrangement for seating first we'll outline the other side so for outlining the other side draw one more curve line joining to the other end this so this covers the inner part of the boat and there will be seating arrangement that we'll show later do not make it too much bulged so if you have a line here bring it downwards so i'll draw once again everybody look at the screen so i'll take one line from here outlining the other side of the boat okay one line from the left end of corner of the boat and i'll bring it down and then join it to the other end slightly make a curve which is raised and then bring it towards the other side like this slightly make a bulge a small very small one millimeter bulge towards outside and make a double line this is the thickness for the boat boat is this country boats are usually made of wood so you show some thickness for the boat not just a single line wooden boat it is so i am showing the thickness so draw a double line for the top part of the boat both the sides of the boat it is all the extra lines and now for the seating of the inside the boat draw again slanting lines for the seating one two can give four to five seatings and later you can draw one pole
is used for riding the boat. And in a far away place, you can see a small piece of land where there is greenery and also where there are some trees. Draw a very small piece of land here. While painting, you can show the detailing of trees and bushes later. For now, just mark a small land. So make sure this seating arrangement is parallel to each other. Okay, and also whether it has same thickness. All the seatings has to have the same thickness. That's all with the sketching. Okay. And now you erase the extra lines, pencil marks. Since this is watercolor painting, your painting will not be, um, will not look much attractive if you have so much pencil marks in your sheet. That's why erase all the dark lines. Make it light, very light. So without pencil lines, it will look much interesting. Do not erase everything. Just some parts which you feel it's darker. And also while uh, rubbing the dust, uh, dust from the sheet, while taking, you use cloth. Okay, cloth to remove the dust, eraser uh, dust or any kind of dust. Are you all ready with watercolors? Always start with the sky. 
use Prussian blue for the sky. Prussian blue and we are using wet on wet technique for the sky. Most of the times we use wet on wet technique on the sky. Shall we start? If you have any questions, let me know in the chat box. Yes, Satvik. Is there any questions? Write it in the chat box if you do have any questions. So for the sky, keep ready your Prussian blue color. Shall we start? Shall we start painting? Everybody, are you all ready? Yes, yes, Jagisha. Okay. Okay, they just. So, we are using wet on wet technique. So, we'll wet the paper. First, we'll only wet the sky part above the horizon line. So I'm going to apply water above the horizon line and quickly grab your yellow, color, oh, sorry, blue color and then apply while wet on wet technique. While using wet on wet technique, don't let your paper dry or paint dry. Should be very quick when you when you're using wet on wet technique. Now take mm, Prussian blue color and then before that remove some excess water. There'll be some more amount of water in your brush. Please remove the excess of water. Now take blue color, dark blue color, and then apply it on the sky. Then slowly spread across the sheet, all over the sheet. And watercolors, it becomes lighter and lighter when it dries up completely. You'll not get the same effect when it dries. Even for the water, we're using same technique that is wet on wet. But we'll have different layers of colors here for the water. Let me know if you're done with the sky. You will have, have to have blue that is light blue, cobalt blue for the water, also yellow, lemon yellow.
orange, a little bit of orange. Also green. Viridian green. Instead of yellow and orange, you can have yellow ochre. Shall I proceed? Okay. So next color, that is yellow ochre. Here I'll have yellow ochre. Again, go with wet on wet technique. Also, you should have cobalt blue. Yellow ochre, cobalt blue. And green. So not only green, later while applying green color, should have to mix green with blue. That's why place cobalt blue and green near, near to, next to each other. So place your, uh, this uh, dark green next to blue color. So that it will be easy for you to mix. First, wet half of the paper, means half of the water part, half of the water part. Or else you can also wet the paper completely, but it should be very quick while applying colors. First, you need to go with yellow ochre and then cobalt blue and then mixture of blue and green. So I'll give you one more minute. Be ready with the colors. Cobalt blue, yellow ochre, and green plus, green plus blue. Here I have all my colors. So, shall I start? Dark blue, it's dark blue, Satvik. I'm gonna wet my paper. Okay. I'll start. So 
quickly we go with one by one one after the other the first color will be yellow ochre and then cobalt blue and then a mixture of blue and green so first of all i'll wet my sheet completely using water except the boat okay outline just outline the board but do not apply water inside the board only the outer part so now i'll take yellow ochre and then apply yellow ochre as a first color it has to be very light it not need not have to be very dark like light yellow ochre to the half of the water then quickly select other color one more color next color that is cobalt blue to yellow ochre after yellow ochre apply water more water use that's why i have told use very good quality sheet next cobalt blue so i'm going with the cobalt blue now for the next step you'll have to merge yellow ochre with cobalt blue so you can remove your water if there is an excess of water in your brush remove using cotton cloth spread the colors and blend yellow ochre and blue together the next color that is green with blue so i have green here first wet your sheet the bottom most part now go with blue and green so here i have you will get a pick of green color pick of green color that is make by mixing dark green and blue add little more amount of dark green this is the third shade try to merge cobalt blue and peacock green the third shade so how are we doing
at the same time you can color boat by very light yellow ochre color first layer yellow ochre very light shade of yellow ochre That's all. And for this land part, let me see your work. Many of you are a painting, still painting. Continue doing that. You don't have to show me. I can see your work. Yes, Sadika. Keep working on it. Yes, ready, Tarun. I can see all your work. Keep working. Yes, Om Kashya. Very nice, very good. And moreover, try to blend two colors. If there is yellow ochre and blue, try blending those two colors. This is not land. This is not piece of land. This is yellow ochre is a shade, different shade of waters. Next, we'll start with the boat, the main drawing that is boat painting. Now you take point brush. It's important to have point brush. So boat is made of, usually country boats are made of wood. Okay, we are using which color is a wood? Wood is in brown color. So I'll take burnt sienna here for the brown color, also black, blue. Not only brown, we can also use some shades of brown so that you can mix blue or any green colors to make your boat look interesting with shades. You can use mixture of many colors. I'll take a blue, also burnt sienna. Also take black. Place it next to each other, black and brown. Add little bit of blue or green to it.
outline the board first. Okay. So we'll outline the board. So where there is pencil mark, outline it there. So where there is double line, right? For the thickness that I have told for the board, you can leave it white space as it is. Light yellow ochre, leave it as it is. Yellow ochre. At the remaining part, you darken the outer shade and then drag the colors towards down. Drag these colors. I'll not make it complex. I'll keep it simple. Okay. So from darker shade to the lighter shade. Mix a little blue along with the brown color. Now outline the board using point brush. Now you drag the colors towards inside. Same in here, use brown color. Bunchiana while dragging. Take that color and then drag the outline colors. possible try to mix all the colors brown but in a darker shade brown blue black and little bit green drag colors then end it here Make sure you have some light spaces, also some dark regions. Okay. Few places are dark, has dark shades and few light. the other side of the board. So for the other side, except this thickness, cover everything with darker shade. So the thickness that we have given for the seating and for the side outlining of the board, except that everything has to be dark. I'll show you how. I'll show you how later you proceed.
So, as I have told, leaving thickness for the seating and for the outline of the board fill with the darker shade. And also for the spoon. If you find really difficult to do this, just take acrylic painting and then acrylic paint and then mark all these lines, white lines with the white acrylic color. But please try doing this, leaving white space for the seating and for the thickness. So as I have told the land which is away from the boat, I'll spread few colors, just look at here. So first I'll apply water for that region, only for that region itself. And then taking a sap green color, spreading colors for the bushes. So like this, I'll spread few colors for the bushes lightly and then few other colors, say mixture of black and orange and also brown. Okay, spread few colors. Use sap green. Also, you can use some dark green. Uh, 
अच्छा नाउ लेट्स गिव सम रिफ्लेक्शन फॉर द सेम थिंग फॉर द पीस ऑफ लैंड यूज ब्लू नॉट ब्लू ब्राउन एंड ड्रैक द सेम कलर्स brown with black and now you take dark blue with black and then drag the lines this is for the reflection first spread the color spread water and then using point brush drag few lines here i'll have a mixture of purple not exact blue and red color but also some amount of brown and then spread this colors and show the reflection draw some few lines showing the reflection of the land and the green grasses also use blue you want to detail out the bushes you can give some darker shade of green also draw silhouette of coconut tree so for that i'll use uh, green and black also blue little blue green black and then draw the lines just silhouette lines
also you can show the reflection of the boat using dark shade of brown with black below the bottom part of the boat try to bring it out like boat shape reflection vice versa mirror image of boat This is for the reflection of the board. Draw cut lines. Not a straight line, single line. Draw one line, leave some space, one more line. And for this, this is the reflection of the board. And for the other reflection, draw thick lines. Can use blue color itself or blue with green and show the reflection. around this board. So again, for the thickness, leave white space, use blue color, cobalt blue color. And outline the board, except the thickness. So if you want to show more detailing for the board, take blacking pen. So before that, complete all the reflections 
I'm drawing lines for the boat. I'll draw one more reflection. Bushes, which is very far from our sight. So let's quickly outline the board properly using pen. Using black ink pen. Take your black ink pen and then so for the seating, outline the seating as as of you done for the pencil, how you did the pencil outlining in the same way do for using the pen, outline the seating part and also for the thickness. And only if your painting is dry, you can go with the pencil outlining, sorry, pen outlining. And later, you can give shades of black and brown. For the inner part of the boat here. Only if you do so, it will look really realistic. If you give, if you play with some shadows and lightings, 
it will look more realistic. By mistake, if your color gets inside this white line, use white paint, acrylic paint to cover up the painted part. You can use white color for covering the painted part. Even here, you can paint white. In order to show some thickness again for the seating, draw one more line using white color. I think we can end it here. I'll go through your work one by one. Okay, before that, let's remove the masking tape. Be careful while removing the masking tape. Last day. So here we have today's country boat painting using watercolor. Whoever wants to show their work, let me know. Jitisha, are you done with your work? Or Mayra, Harshini, Sadika, no problem. Keep working. You can send it later in our Capella School website. Post it there, we'll take a look.
wow jigesha yeah it's look it looks more like beach this looks like a sand of yours in your painting so for that what you need to do is give some reflections show a light reflection first using brown color light brown add some more water and make it light and then show light reflection later you show dark reflections so i'll show you how for example here i have very light brown drag it across the yellow ochre color lightly later once it is dry you can again use brown color much darker than before and drag the lines to show the reflections trees looks fine and this has to be little more light because we are seeing it from very far distance that time when we see from far it has to be light and little bit concentrate on the shape of the boat the upper part here okay uh, the boat color combination is good and also for the reflection here for the sideways drag little more straight lines not dotted lines little more drag your brush towards all the sides not only one part drag it all over good try or else everything looks fine these trees are very good and also this reflections again drag the lines take water again keep dragging lines for the reflection very good jigisha nice work keep it up so rest of them can you post it on the website yes myra i'll add you yes. wow very good myra very good so myra why did you close your video tanisha i loved your boat tanisha really nice the boat has come out really good and reflection again drag few few more lines for the reflections here and there for all over the water drag more lines okay for the reflection here above the boat and sideways drag few more lines and for the coconut trees draw proper bushes very good nice keep it up tanish hmm interesting can make it darker the water and all you can still make it darker add reflections darken it use black and brown colors also blue green for the reflection for the water and also green here make it some more dark greenery okay take a picture of it and then continue working very good harish nice try krishma so rikrishma's bandwidth network bandwidth is low hey krishma i think you are still working on it and i am not able to see the board properly it's too dark hmm okay you have missed the seating right all the seatings what you need to do is take white color from acrylic and then uh, draw slanting lines for the seating and also outline with the straight lines using pen using black pen you outline the board for the reflection please use point brush and then drag lines all these lines using nice try grishma good work shivali 
you ha i think you have created try to create waves right looks like waves okay we get waves in oceans or seas not in river right shivali so here you need to show the reflection only reflection but nice try so for the reflection just draw straight lines not wavy lines okay try to and also around you can still make reflections here around the boat hmm? straight lines boat yeah little you can concentrate on the boat shape of the boat all the seating of the boat has come really good the coconut tree very good just that reflection a hey, very nice very nice very good shivani ashini bye shivani bye wow nice boat and a nice view thank you ma'am the only missing is your reflection yes ma'am yes right so here lines adding lines for the boat reflection of the boat as well as for the land here yeah you can still improve that painting by adding lines for the reflection okay yeah, very nice. bye 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 all thank you for today's class